Welcome to Fisher Toolbox Dog Training. In this session, we'll be demonstrating correct installation of Fisher FAZ2 Plus Tow Control Expansion Anchor, otherwise referred to through bolt or bolt anchor. FAZ2 Plus is high performance ETA Option 1 anchor suitable for crack concrete. It's available in different sizes, starting from M6 up to M24, in zinc plated, stainless, and also high corrosion resistance ACR stainless steel. In M8, 10 and 12 diameter, range has been extended by shorter FAZ2 Plus K with shallow embedment depths. This allows value engineering, savings on material cost and installation time due to reduced drilling. For high load applications, new ETA allows specification for extended, deeper, effective embedment depths. For example, M10 can be designed with effective embedment depths from 40 up to 100 millimeters. That will offer flexibility in specification. FAZ2 Plus can be installed at a through fixing and also without hole cleaning as per ETA specification and therefore installation is fast and simple. Classification for steel fiber reinforced concrete and also extended range of concrete starting from C1215 up to C8095 is available. Independent report for installation close to abandoned anchor is available. This is useful, for example, if you need to reposition anchor due to rebar hit, maybe when installing into densely reinforced concrete. An external independent report is available for extended service life for up to 120 years. And that is a big advantage for, for example, large infrastructure projects. FAZ2 Plus benefits also from fire classification up to 120 minutes, according to not only ISO fire curve, but also more stringent ZTV and RWS tunnel curves. The new ETA also includes suitability for diamond drilled holes for the sizes from M16 up to M24. M10 and M16 diameters are also suitable for seismic application with classification C1 and C2. And we offer also American ICC approval. Before you start any installation, check you have correct tools and correct installation accessories. For FAZ2 Plus, you will need correct drill bit, check its quality drill bit, PJ marked, blowout pump, alternatively refer to ETA specification because for example, if you use hollow drill bit with dust extraction system, you don't need blowout pump, hammer, calibrated torque wrench with correct socket and optional accessories for setting the fixing. You can use Fisher FABS or FAST setting tools. Correct installation procedures can be found also specified on a box. And if you have Fisher CFIX design report towards the end, you will find very useful summary anchor, which was specified and list of installation accessories, including article numbers. So that is useful for procurement. And for installers, there is a summary of correct installation steps. Here you can find also specified effective embedment depths, insertion depths, H nominal, and also drill hole depths. Before you start installation, make sure you have correct PPE. and we are ready to do the installation. In this video, we will be installing this bracket, which is only five millimeter. Therefore, FAZ2 Plus 1010 is a correct length for the application with effective embedment depths of 60 millimeter. By the way, 10 mil stands for maximum fixture thickness. If you are planning to use any shims or you have leveling mortar on top of your concrete, please check what is the thickness and add it to the fixture thickness. And you might need to use a longer fixing if the total fixture thickness is more than 10 millimeters in this case. Mark position of your drill hole 
also observe the minimum allowable edge distance for FAZ2 plus 10, it would be 45 mm from the free edge. Also, minimum allowable axial spacings for 10 mm diameter FAZ2 plus is 40 mm. So check the specification, you comply with these minimum values. For drilling, as already previously stated, use quality drill bit, PJ mark, set the drill hole depth to specified drill hole depth, in this case 85 mm if you are drilling through the bracket. If you are pre-installing the anchor and will be drilling only to concrete, adjust your drill hole depth accordingly, depends on your fixture thickness. So drill the hole, correct diameter, correct depth. We have to clean a hole using the Fisher blowout pump. Hole cleaning can be omitted if you are using hollow drill bit with dust extraction system, for example, Fisher uh, FHD hollow drill bit and Fisher vac or alternatively, if you are removing the dust during drilling, when you are drilling 15 millimeter extra drill hole depths, and you will be extracting the drill bit three times from the drill hole, then you don't need to use a blowout pump. When you are inserting the anchor, position the nut this way, otherwise you might be reducing your embedment depth. If you are installing larger diameter through bolt, or you are working overhead, or you have narrow spaces, maybe fixing into the channel, what might be useful actually is to use FABS or FAST SDS setting tool. This is store control expansion anchor, so it's very important to apply correct installation torque. Value 45 Newton meters is specified on a box. So we have calibrated torque wrench and we need to set it to the correct value. 45 Newton meters. So we applied correct installation torque. That will make sure that expansion anchor is correctly expanded. Also, it's not overstressed and base plate is sufficiently clamped against the concrete. If you are installing 10 mil torque control expansion anchor, but different type, always refer to specified installation torque because values can differ. For example, with Fisher FBN10, installation torque is only 30 Newton meters. After installation, if you need to check whether the correct anchor length has been installed, you can refer back to the letter marking on the head of the anchor. In this case, you will have capital B in a bracket. And if you refer to approval, you can see which anchor length has been installed. In this case, fixing for 10 mil maximum fixture thickness. So quick summary of the correct installation procedures. Before you start, make sure you have correct anchor as specified, correct anchor type, diameter and length, have correct installation tool and accessories, correct drill bit, PGA marked, check for worn mark, make sure it's not worn, blowout pump where applicable, hammer or setting tool, and calibrated torque wrench. Drill to correct diameter and specify depth. Remove debris using blowout pump or follow ETA instructions how to clean a hole. Insert the anchor using hammer or setting tool, usually through the fixture, and observe specified effective embedment depth. Tighten to the specified installation torque. Don't use impact wrench. For any further details or assistance, contact Fisher Technical Helpline on 01491 827 920, refer to Fisher website, fisher.co.uk, or use Fisher Professional app.
thank you for watching.